hello dear admin thank you uh, for choosing the all-in-one automatic discount and uh, for you we are just making update our application day by day with the new features and in this video i will teach you like how can you set up the card drawer from the application so if your theme don't have the card drawer features then no worries for that you just need to set up the card drawer from the application and you can enjoy it here you can see uh, the this card drawer is came from the theme area okay and sometimes what happened is when you go for the install the application uh, the discount code is not display on your card drawer so uh, what you need to do is like you have to disable your theme card drawer so you have to go for online store under the themes click on the customize now find the theme settings for the card drawer and here you can see the card type is there so instead of card drawer i just make it as a page so now when we click on the cart button it will redirect you to the card page so now what we need to do is we have to enable the card drawer from the application so uh, here is the settings for that you have to go to the all-in-one automatic discount application from here you have to go to the settings and at the bottom you can see card drawer setting is there just click on that now here is the settings of disable card drawer so we can just make it as an enable and here is the uh, different settings for example what is the title of the main card drawer then after here is the uh, drawer operator like class id or attribute so if you want to go for the card attribute as a class then you have to set it dot here if you have an id of that attribute then you have to go for the hash and if uh, the attribute is there like the default attribute then you have to use like bracket okay so how it's working uh, what you need to do is first of all how can you get this class from the uh, front end of the theme so you have to go your store front end side just click on this inspect mode like from where you want uh, when i click on this button then it will display the card drawer of the application so what we need to do is we have to uh, go for this inspect mode here just right click and go for the inspect now you can see here it's a button with a button parent you can see here mini cart icon class is there so i just copy this class uh, okay and paste it in the theme settings like uh, sorry in the uh, app settings card drawer so here you can see i just set it mini card icon now in some of the theme what happened is uh, like uh, here is a card quantity is display like it's a three quantity in the card four quantity is the card okay so if you want to set that what you need to do is like click inspect on this mode and you can see here it's a card link bubble is there you can see the bubble is there okay so just copy this and paste it beside here with the class id like as i said class for the dot id for with the hash and attribute with the brackets okay now uh empty cart is there then what is the message so your shopping cart is empty that is the message here you can set it by yourself and here is open card drawer if user add product in the cart or add case so what you need to do is like if you set it here no it means like when user add product in the cart it will redirect it to the cart page but if you make it as a yes and when user go for the add to cart button uh, the product is added in the cart and it will display the cart drawer so let's see how it's look like let me just update it i just enable it and set up everything okay so now i'm just going for the front end and refresh my page now close the inspect mode and you can see when I click here, uh, I think it will take some time in the load. Just wait a moment. Okay, so now you can see uh, the card drawer is uh, display here. Uh, and when you click on it, it will display the card drawer. And here you can see the quantity is display like one. Okay so i hope that is clear for you and on this card drawer it is came from the application so it's like increase or decrease the quantities remove the cart and other stuff and it will by default configure with the line item based configuration so no worries for that uh, to configure the data and other stuff manually on your theme i hope that is clear for you and uh, other thing is like uh, 
if you want to go for the setup something uh, about this button like the card button is there as well like you can see when you click on it it will display the card draw so somehow if you want to set up that settings then go for the general settings under that you can see the card drawer setting is there here is the drawer background color icon position icon color and the icon background color so uh, just make sure you are just set up it by yourself like bottom right or center left or center right whatever the position is based for you and then after user can definitely update the position by themselves like here or here whatever they want okay so that is not a big deal so just for the position you can set the initial position then after user can update by themselves but uh, whenever you if they want to go for okay i hope that is clear and uh, if you have any other question about the card drawer how to enable the card drawer and other stuff you can just connect with our uh, chat support team they will definitely help you to set up the card drawer from the application uh, which can be easy for you to go for and uh, uh, one more thing is that like here if your theme don't have a card drawer so no worries like you can just enable our card drawer from the application and just go for the set up this card okay so for example if i gave you a hint so here is a down thing which don't have card drawer so let's see for that yeah okay so here you can see when i click on it it redirects me to the card page so the down thing don't have a card drawer by default so what we need to do is we just need to go for the application card drawer settings and inspect the mode of this front end find the uh, class like here you can see uh, it's a header icon card okay so i just use this and paste it here and for the bubble you can see here as we said that uh, you have to set up the quantity as well so here is a card bubble so we can just use that as well here like card bubble as a class and update it so you can see here uh, i just set up here the class and other stuff and now uh, this theme that is the down thing which don't have by default card drawer so just need to set up the classes and when you click on the card button it will display the card drawer here and user can directly go for the checkout from here and even if user add the product in the cart like as per the setting i set up it as a yes so when i click the add to cart button it is automatically display the cart drawer like this okay so in the down thing you have to disable the drop down when i click on the add to cart button you can see the drop down notification is displayed by the down thing so you can just disable it by yourself and now the card drawer is open here like this okay i hope everything is clear and you can see the number of quantities also updated because we are just set up the card bubble here with the class uh, and if you need any other help with the card drawer setup you can just go for the live chat with our support team and they will definitely help you to uh, add the card drawer in your team thank you